At least one million people have lost their jobs during the past two weeks in Europe, according to data from the European Trade Union Confederation. The startling figure comes from reports submitted by trade unions across Europe and only includes contract workers who've applied for unemployment benefits. The true number could be double. Can you imagine what's going to happen around Easter, after Easter, if this situation is not fixed uh, by some emergency measures? The risk is that uh, it will be triplicate, quadruplicate. I mean, it's not by chance that the ILO say that uh, the potential job losses uh, that could come out of this crisis is uh, uh, from 24 to 36 uh, million jobs in the world. And, uh, uh, well, uh, Europe is at the moment, of course, the continent that is mostly affected by this. So large part of these uh, losses will happen in Europe if Europe doesn't take urgent decisions how to tackle this emergency. EU finance ministers have been given two weeks to come up with a solution, but by that time thousands more could lose their jobs. Trade unions are calling on the EU to save jobs with income replacement systems. They're asking for a fund worth up to 400 billion euros. They argue crisis management later will come at a higher cost. The problem is that there is no money enough. So the only way, I mean, to make sure that the systems that exist can cope with this emergency and similar systems can be established in the countries that don't have them is that the European Union raises the money to finance an European system for reinsurance. What is really needed is some kind of uh, common debt instrument at the European level that can really create a little treasury at the European level uh, to finance this kind of system. The EU has announced they will allow member states to use the already existing funds worth 37 billion euros, but the EU's Commissioner for Economy agrees that this might just be the first step. For sure, for a recovery plan that we strongly need, um, this is not sufficient. So we, we need to identify targets and ways to finance these targets of a general European recovery plan for the months that we have had. Decisions made in the next two weeks could have a lasting effect on those who have already lost their jobs, as well as on the long-term outlook for employment across the continent. Joanna Gill, Euronews.